Hey guys and welcome to my video. In this video, I'll bring up some problems or should I say some questions that one encounters when modeling cohesive elements in Abacus CAE. So, let's get started. The first question that pops up is what are these parameters and how do I specify them? After finding the answer in Abacus documentation, which is more complicating, the next cue is how should we specify the thickness? So let me tell you this. The analyzer's default is one. Nodal coordinates uses nodal distancing to determine the thickness value. However, it is quite tricky. If you want to put the thickness yourself, press specify. To answer these questions, let me begin with some illustrations. The cohesive element thickness is connecting the bottom surface to the top surface, as you can see it in this picture. Therefore, for 3D analysis, the thickness direction should be aligned with respect to the z-direction. In this way, we wouldn't have any problem with the thickness direction argument. For example, if you want to model a thin layer of bonding material, I recommend modeling it as the following way. Let's assume that I have a very thin layer of resin epoxy. First, I put the value of width. Then I put the value for length. At last, the value of thickness. In this way, the thickness direction is aligned with the z direction and I wouldn't face any problems from now on. Continuing with the answer to question 1. This is the screenshot from Amacus documentation. As you can see, it presents two equations for determining the elastic moduli and the density of the thin layer. I recommend using analysis default which artificially sets the thickness to 1 and this equation for elastic module. A similar calculation goes for the density. Although the density has an ignorable effect on the results of a quasi-static analysis, it is utilized to determine a proper value for time increment. The next and the most critical difficulty that one would witness is the notorious orientation error. The full context is as you can see it here. Despite being simple to solve, this problem might drive you to the edge of frustration. Let's see the reason behind this error. As I said earlier, Abacus assumes that the cursive element's thickness is aligned with the local third direction of the element, which is in this case the z direction. Therefore, the stack direction should be in the same direction as the thickness. Hence, to overcome this error, in mesh module, we change the stack direction. Let me bring you an example. As you can see, I have a beam which is connected to a sheet via cohesive element. It is obvious here. When I submit the job or use data check, I encounter the orientation error. To solve this, we go to the mesh module, select the resin epoxy layer or whatever the thin layer you want to use as a cohesive element, and we check the stack direction. It should be aligned with the third direction, or in this case, the z direction. Now I use the data check again.
now we have no problem in solving this error also to be sure of the work we can check the results here can use the orientation plot to see that the third axis is as the same direction that we wanted so this concludes our video if you find this video helpful please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel take care